Hey everyone, happy Saturday and welcome back to my channel. In light of UC application season, um, the entire month of November, I thought I would just kind of talk to you guys a little bit about my thoughts towards the application and maybe share some like, I don't know, tips, I guess, about how to handle it. I mean, I do have an entire playlist of videos on my channel dedicated to this application, but I kind of just wanted to speak a little bit more candidly with you guys in regards to like some of the questions that I'm frequently asked. So that's what we're gonna do today. I wanna start off this video with the question that I get asked the most. It is, what are my chances of getting into a school? Or do you think I'll get into this school? Or like, if I do this, are my chances higher of getting into a school? I mean, the honest answer is, <clears throat> you guys, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not like a fortune teller or anything. I can't see into the future. And I, I feel like I make this pretty clear, but maybe not enough. I don't work for the UC system. I don't work for any of the schools. I don't work on the admissions committee. So I have no idea like what is even like the first step in reviewing someone's application and kind of looking at, you know, whether you are going to be admitted or denied. Yes, I do know some things that I think will probably help you out a little bit more, but at the end of the day, like even if you're a strong, strong applicant, you could still be denied. That's just the game. Like that's just how it works. I just don't know. I mean, genuinely the only way to find out is to apply and see what the outcome is. So, I mean, if, if you're worried about it, so is everyone else applying. Like, no one, I don't think there's a single person on this planet who applies to a college and says with 100% certainty, like, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna get in. Like, that's just not the way it works, especially when you're looking at the really competitive schools like UCLA, UC Berkeley, UC San Diego. I mean, it's just not how anyone feels going into this process. It is a very, like, emotionally taxing process because it feels like your life is out on the line when you're applying to these schools but i mean yeah i have no idea so just keep that in mind next time you're thinking about whether uh you will stand a chance of getting into the school or not i don't know i mean i hope that you do get into the school that you want and I don't wanna like say anything that would bring you guys down, but I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, I have no way of knowing. And more to that no, I, I think that that might be a little bit discouraging for some of you watching out there, but I mean, the thing is, if you want something, the only way to find out if it's going to happen for you is if you try. So if you are, you know, wondering if you're gonna get into a school, first of all, don't be too scared to not even bother to apply because you're scared of a no, because if you never try, you'll never know. And without even applying, it's always a no because you never gave yourself that chance, do you know what I mean? And second, I mean, the thing that I always say, and this is obviously a lot easier said than done, but I think if you start to like adopt this mindset, you'll just give yourself an easier time. But I mean, whatever happens like is going to happen like you can't control whether you're going to be accepted or denied so there's no point in like worrying about it like i know people who seriously stress themselves so hard about college and about transferring it's just it's not even worth it because it's beyond your control it's beyond my control it's beyond anyone's control like your future is in the hands of the uc system and i know that's scary like yes 100 percent, it's kind of scary but I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. So don't make yourself sick, you know? Like don't spend all day and night agonizing over this decision. Don't lose sleep over it because at the end of the day, just know that you tried your best. You sent in this application. You strived for the strongest grades you could earn. You've written the best essays that you possibly could. What more can you ask for? I also get a lot of people who ask me like, what should I do? And I, I've tried to kind of touch a little bit on this topic before in my channel, but maybe I haven't done so very like explicitly, but I really don't want to get into a position where I'm telling people what to do because one, because it's none of my business, two, because you guys should, I mean, you guys are at the age where you're old enough to be making decisions for yourself. And I know especially if you're like younger, like maybe you just graduated high school and you're looking at, and you're at community college, like maybe you're used to people kind of handing you things or making decisions for you, but you have to realize like at the end of the day, it's up to you because it's your life. And the thing is like, 
you shouldn't just follow blindly what anybody says. Like, you guys know that I put a lot of effort into this channel and I do a lot of research before I make videos, but at the end of the day, like, you shouldn't just trust every single thing that I say. Like, you should be doing a little research for yourself and you should be weighing the pros and the cons for yourself. Like, I have no idea what you're going through. I don't know what decision is going to impact your life in a negative or in a positive way. So when it comes down to like, what should I do? That's really a question for yourself. Like, I would just encourage you guys to become a little bit more like self-sufficient, I guess, and resourceful and stop worrying so much about what other people would think or what other people would do because it's not their life, it's your life. So I, I don't want this to come across like too harsh, but I just want you guys to understand that like, especially as you get older, like the only thing that matters is yourself. Like no one else can really tell you what to do with your life. Like, of course someone can tell you, but whether you choose to do it or not is up to you. And you know, even like in terms of like asking like what I would do, like I can tell you what I would do, but that really has nothing to do with what you would do or what you should do or what you want to do. A lot of people ask me this in regards to like, oh, should I apply to this school? Or should I write about this on the essays? Or should I even respond to this essay question? Like, I can't tell you because I haven't had your life experience. I don't know. You're the person who knows you best. These are the main things that have just been kind of on my mind as we've been, you know, in the midst of applications because people do ask me a lot of questions on YouTube or they reach out to me, DM me on Instagram or whatever. But I mean, you know, if you're watching this video and you feel kind of unfulfilled and you were expecting like more straightforward answers about like uh, very specific questions, I would encourage you to check out my UC applications playlist because most likely I've probably answered that question before. And if I haven't, you can always leave uh, your question in the comments, but please do watch the videos. They're there for a reason. But also if you also kind of feel like, you know, you're still at a loss for what to do, I mean, without being too like deep or emo, I would just encourage you guys to do a little soul searching and think about what you really want out of life. Because at the end of the day, it really, it really does not matter what anybody thinks. Like it's all about you. This is your life. This is your future. And this is your education. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this uplifted you in some way or helped you as you go through the difficult and trying process of applying to the UCs for transfer. It's not easy, but I know that you guys can do it because I could do it. Um, and if you have any questions, as always, leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you next Saturday at 3 p.m. Bye.